Next up is the ventilatory normal values. These are very important when it comes to initiating and managing patients who are receiving or in need of ventilatory support. First, we have the tidal volume, which should be greater than 5 milliliters per kilogram. The normal vital capacity should be between 65 and 75 milliliters per kilogram. The normal minute ventilation should be between 5 to 8 liters per minute. MAP or mean airway pressure should be between 5 to 10 centimeters of water pressure. The normal MIP or maximum inspiratory pressure should be greater than a negative 20 centimeters of water pressure. The normal MEP or maximum expiratory pressure should be greater than 40 centimeters of water pressure. The RSBI or rapid shallow breathing index should be less than 100. The dead space to tidal volume ratio should be less than 60%. The normal anatomic dead space should be 1 milliliter per pound of ideal body weight. So if the patient weighs 150 pounds, they should have 150 milliliters of anatomic dead space. The normal cuff pressure should be 25 to 35 centimeters of water pressure. The normal value for capnography is 3 to 5 percent. And the normal value for intracranial pressure is 5 to 10 millimeters of mercury. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, be sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel. Also, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other resources that I think you will enjoy. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. And if you want to support the channel, be sure to drop a like on this video, and you might as well go ahead and click the subscribe button while you're down there. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. That's it for this one. Have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy, my friend.